Stan is one awesome tool we can use to sell digital products online. Before we get started, I wanna mention the price down below to see your where when you use Stan. I scroll down the page, a simpler solution. The price is $29 per month, and that includes everything on a creator level that you wanna use. And with that, let's go into Stan. All right, so I'm logged into the Stan store, and what I wanna do is I wanna to go to my store to list one of my digital products. In the My Store, I've already added my Threads account and some social media icons. I'm gonna say Add Product. Here's where you can choose any one of your products that you wanna use. For this example, we're gonna focus on digital products. I'm gonna click on this. And in here, what I can do is, on the Stand Store, I can create three options. I have just a button, I've got a call out, and I have a preview. If you wanna have a preview before someone buys, that's an option for you as well. Now this thumbnail is what I'm gonna add. And in this little thumbnail, I do have, I'm not gonna, <laughs> they do give you options for random graphics. Um, I don't use these, that's kind of funny. What I am gonna use though, if I go out of the full screen mode, come back here, is I do have this picture that I wanna give away, or in this case, purchase, not give away. Got this amazing graph that's kind of blue, just this graphic I wanna use for example purposes. So in this case, for this graphic, I'm gonna drop it in right here. It's gonna crop it to a square. That looks great. And now I have this picture right here. So I'm gonna say, download this amazing image. And I'll say subtle, download this graphic that I worked on all day. Again, you can write more than that, but what I wanna do is I have the title of the product, so it could be a PDF, it could be a picture, it could be a video, this is up to you, and then you wanna have a subtitle below. And I'll say download now for this product. The next page I'm gonna hit is that select the image that I have also right here on the checkout page. Now again, I'm just gonna use that same graphic to drop in. It's gonna crop a little wider right here. So again, instead of get my template ebook, I'm gonna say title description is download my amazing artwork. There we go. Now the description body, if you do have a PDF or something of better value than I have just one picture, in this case, I do just have one picture. So I'll say this is a one of a kind digital graphic, which you can use anywhere. It's, let's just say 5,000 by 3,000 pixels. Actually, we'll drop it down a line. Pixels and comes in a JPEG format. This is where you wanna describe what you are selling because someone wants to know what they're gonna get as a result of purchasing this product on your stand store. This case button title, I will say get my guide, and I'll say download artwork. Download artwork. Artwork, there we go. We have a name and email address and the purchase right here for $9. So after this, I can then set the price to something else. If it is more valuable than just $9, change it you know the value of your work. So don't ever price it too low, but also don't price it so high, everybody goes, oh my gosh, that's too much. For this artwork, we'll call it 4.95 because I think it's a great amount of work. I spent all of 30 seconds in Photoshop dropping a blue glow on it just for the fun of it. What I also can do is I can unlock more options if I wanna upgrade to a higher price ticket. This allows you to set up more options to the Creator Pro to have different order bumps and funnels if you want to. I like to keep mine pretty simple for the most part. I don't like to give too many options to get people lost. Also, if I am selling a higher ticket item, I can have a payment plan, but honestly, for $4.95, I'm not gonna have it. So again, by default, we have the monthly at 29. If you do pay per year, it's 300. And you can also upgrade to more advanced sales techniques going to $99 per month. In this case, I'm just keeping mine at a greater level because mine's only 495. 
After that, I actually have to upload the digital product, PDF, pictures, or I can redirect to a URL. So if you do have your files hosted somewhere, maybe they're on a Google Drive, on a Dropbox, if you wanna share from Canva, so you can always keep updating your product as you need be. Be careful on this only because when you break your URL, you're gonna then break the product. This happened to me before when I had a product years ago and I had it on a Google Drive and I changed the folder structure around and then someone goes, hey, where's the product? So I generally do upload files, that's just how I work. But again, you might want to share it somewhere else and that's totally fine. Just remember if you do share something that the link is gonna be live no matter what. What they're gonna get is this amazing piece of artwork, the front graph, drop it in and there we go. Again, we can upload more than one file if we want to, that is totally fine. I can save a draft or I can publish. Now, once I save that, check this out, man. JPEG image, this, this is looking great. Now we can see more of what this looks like at a button standpoint. So if I come back in that preview call out and button, I can just have that download now button or I could say download amazing artwork or I can have a preview. And if I had a video or something else, you could then see what you're gonna get right here. Since I only have a JPEG for this example, I'm just gonna say call out and have the download this amazing artwork in this one. And I'm gonna publish again. And now I'm all set to go. This is what my stand store looks like. I have mine at Hayden.co. And if I pull up my store right away, I'm gonna go to a mobile friendly site. There we go. What I have is download amazing artwork, download now. I would click on it and I can add my information to then purchase right here on the page, allowing them to download this 5,000 by 300 pixel piece of artwork to sell a digital product on stand. 